Umeå is uh, usually considered the capital of the north, also called the city of birches. This is a place where the winters are really long uh, and dark, and the summers are short, and the sun almost never sets during the summer. My name is Ellen Bajstrom. I'm Daniel Rimas. And we grow food here in Umeå. Before founding Harvest, I didn't have any experience uh, pretty much at all from farming. Uh, only a small veggie patch uh, behind our house or you know, in, the, in, in the window in our living room. Uh, I became interested in farming when I saw the connection between how we produce and ship food all around the world and um, how that affects the, the health of the planet, but also our health. So that just made farming the, the logic thing to, to do, really. We started Harvest with a mission to, you know, contribute to a better food supply chain, chain here in Umeå, uh, making it easier for people to live a better lifestyle. The fresh food supply in here in uh, our region is mainly made out of potato production, carrots, uh, meat and dairy production. Since we are importing a lot of uh, vegetables uh, from other parts of Sweden or during the winters a lot from uh, different uh, countries around the world, uh, a lot of uh, the produce that we get in our uh, local supermarkets are not that flavorful or and nutri nutritious. Um, and uh, the, the, even if the demand of uh, locally produced uh, um, vegetables are super high here in, in, our, uh, in our town, in our city, uh, it's, it's very hard to find the, uh, great quality produce during the winter times. Um, I think one of the main problems with our food system today is that uh, the main focus is to get it as cheap as possible. And I think that makes the way we produce and then ship food all over the world just um, affect the, the health of the planet um, in a negative way. I think one of the main challenges uh, when it comes to food in our area is that we have a very short um, season for growing with long winters and ver very short summers, but also um, there's very few farmers and they're entering a generation shift um, with not a lot of younger people wanting to take over. My favorite part of the technology in the greenery uh, would be all the automation regards to um, watering, nutrition dosing, and also the, the lights as well. Uh, it just saves a lot of time and makes it easy even when farming, even when you don't have a lot of experience. Since we can control the climate in the greenery and uh, it's uh, insulated and also we can control the, the power of the lights. It's a really good solution for us in the north uh, of Sweden with the long and cold winters. The fact that it takes up so little space as well makes it a perfect solution for city spaces, um, especially in places where people work and, and live uh, to make it a really close by option. So our farm is located right next to one of the busiest biking paths in, uh, in the city, which leads from the university and hospital down to the city center. So uh, a lot of people pass by there every week. Uh, then our shop is located uh, in one of the train stations in the city. And a lot of people commute here and just pass by on the way to and from work. I never heard about Harvest. I actually found it out because it's, the container is located along my bike road and I found this amazing container with this nice wooden pattern around and I was interesting, what is harvest? I think the main um, importance about how harvest is producing is that it's first one is of course it's locally produced and another point is of course because it's locally you have it's fresher and the taste is much better compared to other options which are available. 
in our farm, we're currently growing a mix of uh, classics like basil, arugula, romaine lettuce. Um, but we also grow some varieties that isn't likely to find in the local supermarket, like, uh, for example, uh, lemon basil and uh, wasabi arugula. We choose to grow these less common crops because we want to introduce new flavors to people that they might not never get to try otherwise. A typical day for us farming in the greenery would be us coming to the farm early in the morning, um, opening it up uh, and then uh, cleaning all of the surfaces, having a check about what's What's the schedule for today? Is it harvesting or is it cleaning or is it transplanting or seeding? And then we pick out the things that we need to have to do that. And, um, and then we, we harvest and package if that's the thing. And then we take it down to the store. Now we're transplanting uh, the seedlings to the tower, uh, putting them in between this foam uh, where the water with the nutrients comes down uh, from the pipes and uh, making the plant grow well um, with the lights later on. Now it's time to take down the panel for harvesting. We're going to harvest some Tuscan kale today. Kale is a crop that we harvest multiple times. So we take off the mature leaves and then we save some of the leaves um, to continue growing until the next harvest, um, that is next week. And we sell most of the produce to local consumers, but we also sell part of the produce to local restaurants. And they put it on in their menu, but they also refine some of the products for us to sell to our customers that, that buy our produce as well. I think it's a little hard to find good quality just for green things in boutique. Och speciellt den typ av grönsaker som Harvest kan erbjuda. Och om man som jag är ute efter ekologiskt och gärna lokalt odlat, då är det jättesvårt. When we harvest lettuce, we harvest the whole plant with the root system, and that makes the plant continue living for much longer than it would otherwise. Since the green areas help us grow um, a great amount of food with a fairly short learning curve, it, it truly has helped us feel uh, confident that we can provide the community with, um, with really good food that maybe hasn't been available before, like new varieties and um, really fresh, um, just harvested. Ja, jag tycker att det är svårt att hitta bra grönsaker faktiskt generellt. Det tycker jag. Det är ju mycket plastförpackat som, som man får ta, som inte känns helt fräscht. Det är stor skillnad om jag ska jämföra harvest med andra alternativ. Det tycker jag är enormt stor skillnad faktiskt. Harvest sallad smakar väldigt mycket, väldigt bra. Det, det går inte att jämföra tycker jag harvestprodukter med det som finns på affärerna. Det är mycket, mycket mer smak, eh, fibre, allt. Liksom. I think local farming is important um, to create local resilience, but also to enable cities to grow and um, to create opportunities for citizens uh, within the community to live more sustainable lifestyles. I think one of the most common reactions people have when they try a produce is that it's uh, very flavorful and that it lasts super long. And we get super happy to hear um, parents coming back telling us about their kids wanting more lettuce instead of their normal Saturday candy. 
Um, but I think actually the, the reaction we love the most is when people come back and say it tastes like summer.